Now, your news on the go. It's 7.52 in Syracuse. Here are today's top stories and your news on the go this morning. Pope Emeritus Benedict has died. Earlier this week, the Vatican announced his health had worsened, asking the world for prayers. Pope Benedict resigned from the job back in 2013, the first pontiff in about 600 years to do so. Pope Francis was then elected as his successor. Pope Benedict was 95 years old. This morning, the world is also mourning the loss of Barbara Walters, the legendary newswoman and trailblazing journalist, passing away on Friday. Walters was the first female anchor on any evening news program and the first woman co-host of a morning show. She's known for her high-profile interviews, including every president and first lady from the Nixons to the Obamas. Barbara Walters was 93 years old. Syracuse is also mourning the loss of one of our own this morning. Longtime Syracuse judge and decorated Vietnam veteran Norman Mordu has died. Mordu was recently honored as Grand Marshal of this year's CNY Veterans Parade and Expo. He served in Vietnam and was awarded the Bronze Star, a Purple Heart, and the Distinguished Service Cross. Norman Mordu was 80 years old. Today, you can end 2022 with one last trek up to the Dome. Syracuse men's basketball is scheduled to play their last game of the year this afternoon. The Orange are hosting Boston College, and if you're not watching from the stands, you can catch the game from home on the ACC Network. Tip-off is set for 2 o'clock this afternoon. And by this time tomorrow morning, we'll be waking up in the year 2023. But if you're staying up to watch the ball drop tonight, you'll most likely still be sleeping in. Remember, if you're celebrating at a bar tonight, last call is not too long after midnight. Specifically in Syracuse, bars will close at 2 o'clock in the morning. Syracuse police are also stepping up patrols downtown to prevent drunk driving. They say the key is to plan ahead. Remember, if you're staying home this holiday, News Channel 9 is your source for all things New Year's Eve. Ring in the new year with News Channel 9. Join us at 8 o'clock for Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve, hosted by Ryan Seacrest. Then stay with us for News Channel 9 weekend at a special time tonight at 10 o'clock. We'll then return to New York City at 1030 to ring in the new year at midnight, all right here on News Channel 9. 7.50. Well, let's get you headed out here for the day on Saturday, the last day of the year. As we take a look at the forecast, a few spotty showers around at 8, and they become more numerous midday and into the afternoon, maybe even just a steady rain by 5 o'clock. And notice the temperatures, not as warm as yesterday, but still a mild day. I think eventually here in the Syracuse area will drop into the low 50s. So that's through 5 o'clock. Folks will be headed out this evening, of course, for the celebrations for New Year's Eve, and this is the way things are shaping up at this point. Looks like we're going to be dealing with at least a few showers around. Um, you know, again, the temperature late in the day, 50 degrees, but as you're out and about, we'll probably be in the 40s. The high above normal on New Year's Day at 39 degrees, just a morning shower. I think much of Sunday is dry. Cloudy, dry weather here on Monday. We're looking at 43. Back into the 50s, Tuesday and Wednesday. It looks like we can deal with showers, maybe a few rain or snow showers Thursday. Thank you, Jim, and thank you so much for joining us this morning and throughout all of 2022. For news and weather anytime, download the News Channel 9 app. Our next update is at 827. Good Morning America is next. Thanks so much for watching. From all of us here at News Channel 9, we hope you have a safe and happy new year. See you in 2023.